Okay, so we're, we're on step one of the great IKEA Odyssey part two. First step in the Odyssey is we need to take the Paris Metro, which uh, is a great way to get around town cheap, fast, especially when everyone's in town, there's lots of traffic or during the week, uh, especially during rush hour. It's a little crowded in Metro, but way faster, way cheaper than trying to take a taxi cab. So what we're gonna do, First step is we're going to take Metro to train station, then we're going to get in the train station and take that outside of the Paris City limits. So first step is uh, buying two tickets. I'll show you how to do that at the kiosk so you're not intimidated when you get here and it's time to buy some tickets at the Metro. You can also walk up to the counter and try and talk your uh, broken French or English to the person behind the glass to get some tickets. But I'll show you how to use the automated machine. Or I'll show you how Odalizi uses the automated machine. Till then, bye. Okay, so uh, in sketchier metros, I've been taking my life in my own hands, speaking English this loud. But uh, here's the window. I guess OG's gonna go up there and get some tickets to the window. One, four. Oh, okay. Once you get your ticket, one ticket will take you one way pretty much anywhere inside of Paris. Um, so you're going to need two tickets for a round trip. You might actually be able to use it. Basically, it's pretty straightforward like any other big city. You just feed it into the thing and grab it and walk through the turnstile. So we're going to go to uh, Metro Alliance 6, Tour Nation. So over here is what it looks like. Metro 6, Nacion, to the right. Nacion. Oh, then we go up this long escalator and we just wait for a train to come. Is it over here? Looks like one's coming like right now, so. Not a whole lot of waiting. The only thing that's tricky about this is sometimes the doors will stay closed and you have to actually physically reach out and pull the handle to open them. That usually happens off peak hours. Let's see that how she opened it. So for now, just a boring train ride. Destination. So our destination is actually Montparnasse Bienvenue. So I'm letting the train clear out and the off chance should be able to actually hear my voice on this iPhone. What you want to look for at this point this is the sign to go to the trains. It's about a two minute walk. Trains, huh? In English, duh. But they're also called um, RER. So we're just going to follow those signs down this uh, rather narrow passageway. And it says it's a two minute walk, and I looked at the directions online. Okay, so admittedly the train station can be a little bit intimidating. There's a lot of different lines going a lot of different directions, and some of them actually branch at times. And I'll take you off in the wrong direction if you're not on the right version of the right train. Here's the, basically the board for all the trains that are taken off from the station. So it looks a little bit like an airport. You got the different trains, the number, the, where it's going, when it's actually gonna be here. So we're gonna go ahead and try and get on one of these trains and uh, I'll report to you in a minute. Really made it out of the train station. Uh, we had to buy a couple of tickets. Oops. Okay, so we barely made it out of the train station. We had to buy a couple of tickets there for a longer journey and had to find a different kiosk and sell those to you. Uh, so we're on the um, 12 train. Got a couple of people looking at me strange, like singing your English being spoken. Um, 
give you a quick glimpse of the station outside. Um, we're actually going on what Odie said with around the 12 students. Let me show you this. I mean, once you're inside the train, it's kind of useful. We've got a blinking light that shows that we're at Paris and Montparnasse. And then there's lights for each and every stop. And then as the train branches, it goes down this lower track. And where we're going is right there. Placier de Cli. Or sorry. Yeah, Placier de Cli. And the final destination for this track was listed as Placier de Cli. As you can see, the trains uh, can sometimes bifurcate, and you can end up going to the wrong destination if you don't choose the right destination, even though you have uh, what you think is the proper train. So uh, that's it for now. So we're stopped here in uh, Bellevue. <laughs> um, Bellevue, France. That's probably the original Bellevue, actually. Uh, we're going to go through the list of things that Odalizas come up with that we'll probably need for or from IKEA. Watch our step there coming off. We're at the uh, we're in the very back car of the train. So we'll come up here to the station, then it's a, about a five or ten minute walk to Ikea, actually, depending on how much stuff you're trying to carry while you're doing the walk. But it's through like a big mall of a bunch of box stores. Okay, so coming to you from Ikea again. Here's the French press. 14.99 euros. Yeah, we should have waited. Um, I could have used well, the same. Well, we couldn't have waited. You would have died. No, I would have just bought some coffee somewhere else. Well, anyway, so it costs 35 euros if you try and buy this downtown in Paris. So that's why we're putting up with all this nonsense to come all the way out here to get everything. Um, prices are just a lot more reasonable than trying to buy things downtown. Okay, so we're mostly done with the IKEA shopping experience. We have a couple of bags that we're going to have to carry with us on the train. In the metro, uh, they're quite a bit lighter than the time I went with a bunch of stoneware, which almost killed me. Um, right now, Odie's arranging a delivery, and they have a couple delivery options. Uh, you can rent a truck from Hertz. You can uh, get them to deliver it rapidly. And they'll actually set it up for you, but it's like 79 euros baseline, then 10% of it over and above that. If you just get uh, express delivery, which we did last time, it's 59 euros to your doorstep, and then you set everything up. So that's probably what we're going to do again. Uh, I think it'll be there by tomorrow. So all we have to do is schlep these two bags through the train and through the metro, uh, back to Paris and back to our apartment, and we should be set up to receive tomorrow. Uh, okay.